you sum up all of my mining payouts from the month of February, you'll get about $1,500. Now, this is more than I've ever made in a month from working, even when I was working two jobs, one of them full time. It was all from, it's all passively. Now, I did it by setting up three different computers to mine cryptocurrency. For people who don't know, mining basically means you set up a computer and it will verify transactions on Bitcoin. So if I send you a Bitcoin, you know, if I had a whole Bitcoin, if I send you a Bitcoin, I would pay a small transaction fee, maybe depending on the time, it may be between a penny and a couple dollars. Now that transaction fee goes to a miner. Miner's the person running the computer. You can take that money, you can either hold it as a Bitcoin and watch it go up like people do with stocks, or you can sell it immediately and get your value worth in dollars. First things first, the mining rigs. Okay, so I start with my main mining PC. It has four graphics cards in it, and it's making a total of between $25 and $30 a day. The profitability fluctuates depending on the day, but that's how much that one's making. Next is this PC that's over here on the floor. Pretend like it looks nicer than it does. It has four graphics cards in it, or really it's three graphics cards. They make less money per card, so it adds up to about maybe 20-ish dollars, depending on the day. And then finally, I have a gaming PC, which I also mine on. That one's making $10 a day, depending on the day. Now, these are numbers for the month of February. Profitability is a bit lower right now, but I did take profits, and it's a February recap video. Now, the next thing is what was I mining? You'll see in my wallet, there are multiple coins. There's Bitcoin and there's Ethereum. They do not serve the same purpose. They do different things, but that's a different video. As a miner, the only thing you really care about is profitability and price. You wanna know how much money can I make today if I'm mining this coin? And is the price gonna stay stable enough that my profits will stay? Because if you mine a coin and its price crashes, your profits are gone. So you kinda have to keep an eye on that. So since I have enough hash power that I can get payouts regularly, you get payouts once you reach a certain amount of earnings. I split my computers between mining Bitcoin on NiceHash and mining Ethereum. Now, one thing I did notice is that Bitcoin was going up a lot quicker than Ether was throughout February. So what I did was I would get a payout on Ethereum and you can see I would have an outgoing transaction where I would then trade it into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, I did not really sell much of it until the end of the month where I did take profits. So I would get my mining payout in Ethereum, trade it to Bitcoin, get my mining payouts in Bitcoin, keep it in Bitcoin. Now, there is also one other coin that I traded into that's not on this wallet because it doesn't support it. This coin is called Cardano. It serves the same purpose as Ethereum, but I feel like it does things a bit better. This coin is not mineable. You can only earn coins by holding it in a process called staking. That also is a different video, but Cardano performed exceptionally well. It actually went up more than Bitcoin did and it stayed steady as the rest of the coins dropped. So I was able to keep a lot of my profits doing that as well. Now it is very possible to make mining profits that are great without trading. For most people, it probably is a good idea to mine and hold your coins or sell every day or you know whatever you feel like you're more comfortable with unless you really watch the market closely. Trading is a good way to kind of lose your profits as well because trading is risky no matter where you got the money from. Also, watch the market and know that the markets kind of take advantage of human psychology. Whenever you feel like the price is going to keep going up and you get all excited, it's probably a good time to sell. And whenever you feel like you're going to sell because the price is dropping and you get scared you're going to lose your money, it's probably going to go right up after that. So just mind your emotions sell when you feel like you want to hold it and watch it go to the moon like when the price goes up super high super fast sell then unless you want to watch it all come crashing back down and when the price dips don't sell just because it's going down you should hold and go through it unless you have some reason to believe outside of your emotions that price is going to continue to drop down and if i had sold when the price was high like i told everybody to like a week ago I would have came out with over $2,000, but I didn't. I kind of watched it fall back down thinking it was going to keep going up. And I came out with about $500 less, but it's okay because it's free money. And you kind of you can't beat free money no matter how much it is. All right, so in summary, three computers, mining two different coins, a bit of trading, and I have more money than I've ever made from any job. That's the February recap. If y'all like the video, make sure you like it and share it. And if you want to get into it yourself, go back and watch the other videos. I kind of show how to get started and some resources on where to look to do more research.